Hey gang, Dead Girl here. I'm over at Coliseum of Comics where I'm getting ready to head into the book signing for Bruce Campbell's new book, Hail to the Chins. Super excited. Um, I am a fan of his literary work as well as, of course, all of the movies. Um, you can bring another item to be signed in which I've got an Evil Dead poster. So he's going to do a reading of the book first and I'll try to get some video. from very far away today. Oh, where, yeah. sir? Where? From where? You did. From Michigan. <laughs> where? Ocala. Oh, that's not far. <laughs> What's so funny? Did I butcher the pronunciation? <laughs> it's about an hour away. Uh, I'm not that impressed, sir. <laughs> we're not that further away than She's an not hour. back in a few moments. I'm sitting here. Where? Right. Yeah, right, Gainesville, back. Florida. No. Wow. How, how far away is that? Two and a half hours. That's nothing, sir. Two and a half hours. It's going to be two and a half hours. Yes, sir. South America, bull crap. You did not No. You're lying, sir. No, you're here to visit relatives. You're here to pay your ex-wife off. No, you're not, you're not here for this. No. Who else is farther than Gainesville? Yes, sir. New York. New York. You didn't come here for this. Sorry. Yes. Seven hours Panama City. City, I believe that. Where's Mike? Mike, give this woman some Bruce Box. She earned it. This is Mike. He'll be taking care of you tonight. Yeah. That's worth absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's my son's birthday! So Who's the laziest one? Who lives the closest to this place? Yes, right here. What? Half a mile. Anybody walk here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're too lazy. You're to be rewarded for that. That's right. Hello, Ash in the back. You what? Two streets up, Mike. Give, give Ash some money. He's going to need it. He went uh, trick-or-treating yesterday, but nobody knew who he was. That's what a cult movie is. Mainstream movie. A hundred thousand people see the movie once. Oh, it's your birthday. A cult movie. You keep going. One person sees it a hundred thousand times. Just yell. As soon as it's quiet, yell. It's my that's birthday. How, that's how my kids went to college. Hi, <laughs> waving person in the back. What's going on, baby? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Just wait. Where are you from? Where? Vietnam. <laughs> we have nothing in common. How long uh, do you live here now? How long have you lived here? Three years. Thirty years. So you're from like Vietnam, Vietnam. And how'd you how'd you find this the uh, young fella that you're with? Was he in the service? He's your boss? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's great to have you in America, lady. Just, you better mind your P's and Q's already. Ash vs. Evil Dead. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm going to warn you, if you don't download that app, that little favorite show of yours is gone! Yeah. yeah. They need you to go clickety clickety click. Because if you download it illegally, like 75% of you here, <laughs> the show will get canceled. <laughs> I can't help it if you are lazy criminals. <laughs> I thank you for your misplaced enthusiasm. Yes, back there, sir. Yes. What is the most trouble you've gotten in? Most trouble I've gotten into in Orlando? Yes. 
Probably here. In Orlando. No, I was propositioned by a hooker in Tampa. <laughs> and I didn't know what she meant. I was in waiting in the lobby of a hotel, and she came up to me. She goes, "Excuse me, are you looking for a girl?" Oh no, I'm just here making a phone call. <laughs> and I went, oh, 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 yeah. No, Orlando, do you get? Are you allowed to get in trouble in Orlando? <laughs> yeah. What, is, what do you do, sir, to get in trouble? A person who works at Disneyland. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested in Orlando? No. Who said yes? <laughs> I'd love to see that. Drive without a license. That's scary. Yeah, right here. Hey, was Jacksonville ad libbed uh, on the show or it was did Jacksonville ad lib? Like, ad lib is part over? of Ash saying it's a place he wanted to retire. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was completely randomly chosen. Because it's a completely random city. Yes. Because yes. people go, Jacksonville. <laughs> Why Jackson? So, uh, do you have any proof? <laughs> <laughs> you said you were of age. <laughs> so I take people at face value, lady. Hey, Bruce. As if, yes. I lose your hand on there. I know you didn't do anything wrong. What's that, sir? You were my handler there. I spoke the Empire. <laughs> Mr. Police Officer, who would never lie, right here. Yeah, yeah so, ma'am, yeah, shove your accusations. I'm going to fight this out on Twitter. In a proper forum. Yes. Evil Dead the Musical. Would Evil you Dead the Musical. What about it? What? Would you do it on stage? Would I do it on stage? Yeah. No, too much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> No, no, I can call cut in theater. You can't, you can't stop. I met the original guy who played Ash on stage, some guy named Ryan, and I met him, and he wasn't really that happy to see me. <laughs> He's like, I've been playing your stupid character eight, days, eight shows a week. Yeah. Batman on Saturdays. I'm like, you took the part, you schmuck. <laughs> Why did you say yes? Yes, sir. My favorite role <clears throat> outside of the Evil Dead universe. Probably Sam X on Burn Notice. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a real guy, you know? He's like a real, like a real person. Yes. How did they make my hand? How did they make my hand into that thing? Did we fool you, sir? <laughs> if I told you, you wouldn't have that wondrous look on your face anymore. How did you guys do that? <laughs> Only George Lucas goes back and fixes things. Oh. <laughs> the little people can make fun of the big people. <laughs> George, you cheater. Yes, sir. What's that? How did it feel to play Elvis? <laughs> I did it because nobody else had played him before with cancer on his penis. <laughs> So that's why. But wouldn't every guy love to play Elvis? You would. You would. They said, you're playing Elvis. You're like, hell yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was good. It's fun. Intimidating, but nobody had done it as an old man. So no one's going to compare me to Kurt Russell or <laughs> any real actors. Yeah. Yes, oh kid. God. Am I what? Are we continuing Ash vs. Evil Dead? I just had a discussion with all of these people <laughs> who are stealing, uh, young man. And stealing uh, is against the law. Police officer will attend the law. <laughs> So later he will be pulling up a paddy wagon and arresting most of you. Really? <laughs> Sir, have you downloaded the Stars app? No. <laughs> you, why you? <laughs> But see, you can't watch it. Why, why would you ask if they're bringing it back? You can't watch that show if your parents are responsible and not about to be arrested for child abuse by exposure to horrors untold. Why are you here, kid? Have you seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? No? You should.
That's only part of the line. There's over 400 and something people here to get their book signed. So I'm home from the book signing with Bruce Campbell. Um, if you have not seen him in person yet, I strongly suggest that you do so. Uh, you will be in for quite a treat. He started off by doing a Q&A session with the fans. Um, you know, highly entertaining. He is a very quick-witted and charismatic man. Um, I definitely enjoyed watching him, um, listening to him, seeing his interactions with the audience. It was just, it's very entertaining and a lot of fun. Um, after that, he went back into the comic book store. They started to line everybody up, um, about 50 to 100 people at a time. They slowly let everybody into the comic shop where you could either have your book personalized or you could have Bruce sign an additional item. I opted for my Evil Dead 11 by 17 poster. I was super happy. They did move you pretty quickly through the line. So it's not like you got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him, but the time that you did get with him, um, you know, it was great. He was a pleasure. He was just, you know, hey, how you doing? Where are you from? Thank you for coming out. Um, you know, just, just very outgoing. And he did, he, he gave you a good interaction. You could tell that he was genuine and he seemed like he wanted to be there which is a very, very nice thing. He's one of those people that I've always wanted to meet. I've always been a huge fan of. I met him once before um, down in South Florida. This is my second time meeting him. Um, I met him initially five years ago. Same type of interaction, friendly, uh, you know, pretty genuine, and just, just a pleasure. Again, he's not one of those people that you meet and you walk away and you're like, wow, that guy was kind of a douche. I, I never got that impression from him. And from what I've seen, you know, nobody really got that impression. A lot of people that were there hung out afterwards, talked about their interactions with him and how great he was. Um, you know, just, just a lot of fun. Uh, if you get the chance, again, you know, definitely go out, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tour of the couple of things that I got signed. So I said I would show you guys the poster that I had Bruce Campbell sign. Here it is. Uh, Evil Dead. Oh, one of my favorite movies. So as you can see here is his signature. And he did sign it as Ash. I'm not going to lie. I fangirled a little bit. I kind of froze up. Um, you know, wasn't really quite sure what to say. What do you say to somebody that you're a giant fan of? Um, you don't want to come off like an idiot. So instead, I just smiled and answered his questions politely and thanked him for signing my poster. And along with the poster, I also got, of course, the new book, Hail to the Chins. I'm excited to start reading it. I read his If Chins Could Kill and Make Love the Bruce Campbell Way, and they were both really entertaining reads. So I'm anxious to start this one as well. He also signed this one for me, as you can see here. So I've got my Hill of the Chin sign, my Make Love the Bruce Campbell way sign, and now my Evil Dead poster sign. So needless to say, I'm a very happy girl. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.